What's up everyone, this is iTalkers Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys two really weird ways that you can save battery life on your iOS device. Now these features I actually haven't seen discussed anywhere on YouTube, and that's probably because they're really weird if you think about it. So, these are two features that could end up saving significant battery life in the long run, or can make a difference if you're down to your last 10%. And the first tip is to not use a loud volume. Believe it or not, your iPhone has the power to push out water from its speaker. Now, if you think about it, that's kind of a lot of power that your iPhone can exert out of the little tiny speaker that it has. And so if something has a lot of power, it requires a lot of energy, and that energy is coming from the same source that powers your iPhone, and that is your battery. So I really recommend that if you're gonna listen to a song, make sure the volume isn't really too loud when using your iPhone speakers. Your iPhone also has two speakers, so lowering the volume can definitely make a difference. And this is the same idea that is used when people tell you to turn off your ringer if you wanna save battery, and that's because your device not only uses its speaker, but it also vibrates. So it's good to just turn off notifications completely if you wanna save battery life. Now this next tip is really weird. So basically, if you guys did not know this, your iPhone has a refresh rate of around 30 or up to 60 FPS or Hertz, depending on what you're gonna measure it by. But basically, the point I'm trying to get across is that whenever you scroll on your iOS device, your iPhone has to refresh the image on the screen 60 times per second. So if you think about it, whenever you're scrolling through an article, that means your iPhone then has to redisplay those images incredibly fast. So if you think as using your iPhone as a slideshow, if you don't scroll on your iPhone, it's as if your slideshow is on one slide. But imagine having 60 images play per second on a slideshow that would use significant energy mainly on the processor so what i recommend you do is i know that whenever i read an article i always scroll down with my finger very slowly as the top words slowly disappear into the status bar but what i recommend you do is instead of scrolling throughout the entire article just have enough contents on the screen read all of it and then scroll so it's really good to not touch the screen as often as possible because that'll save battery life. Now this can mainly be proven because if you go on online articles to save battery on web browsing, they'll actually tell you to turn off animations, they'll tell you to not have advertisements and all sorts of stuff. And that's mainly because it puts a lot of stress on the processor. And so if you're constantly scrolling, that is added stress. And I do know that if you stop doing this while scrolling, it can save a little bit of battery life. This can make a difference in the long run. Now just as another bonus tip, I recommend you use a browser that has an ad blocker on it not only will it save you battery but it'll speed up your internet so i will link a really good one down below that's got a nice user interface that's actually created by the same developers as firefox it's not firefox but it is a really good web browser so i know this is kind of a weird video but yeah thank you so much for watching and as always peace